In this video, we're going to go over how to use the assembly editor. When you found a policy that you'd like to work on, click on the pencil icon in the right corner. This will open the edit window. It starts off small, but if you grab the little corner, you can resize your window and make it bigger. You can also click the maximize button in your toolbar and open it full screen. Click it again to go back to your first view. We have a lot of buttons in the editor toolbar. Hovering over these will tell you exactly what they do if you ever get confused. The very first thing that we'd like you to do when you open the editor window is to click on the pencil icon that says start tracking changes. Once I turn it on, the buttons to the right will light up, indicating that I have turned it on. This will make sure that I keep track of every change I make and will also allow my editor to see exactly what changes I would like to see. If I want to make a new section, I click at the very end of a paragraph before I would like to make a section. Click your enter button twice and begin typing the header you would like to see. You'll see that my added language is in green. If I would like to remove any language, it will be in red strike out. Returning to my new paragraph, I'm going to click enter twice again and begin typing the paragraph I would like. Once I have finished making my paragraph, I'm going to select my header, choose format, and select header 3. This will create a header that matches all of the other headers in my current policy. This is a style that MSBA uses. If you do choose to use any other headers, MSBA may change it back to match their style guide. If you see any weird spacing or any funky mess, please contact your editor and they can fix it for you. The assembly editor gets very tricky, so don't feel bad if something doesn't look quite right. I would like to add a list to my new paragraph, so I'm going to place my cursor at the last place that I was typing, click enter, and then click the insert slash remove numbered list button in my toolbar. This will make a number one. Don't be afraid if the number one isn't green, the language that you start typing will be. If you would like to continue your list, hit enter again. And once you're done, if you'd like to continue with your paragraph, click enter twice. This will take you out of your list and allow you to continue typing your paragraph. Once I'm finished making my changes, I'm gonna scroll all the way down and submit it for association review or just save and close and let my editor know that I have changes pending for them. Keep in mind to never check approved or rescind. Those are for your editor only. If I would like to continue making edits to a policy that I have already saved and closed, I simply open it again and click on the edit button again. Simply will let me know that there are pending changes. Simply click OK and I'm going to expand my view. This time I'd like to add an inline comment telling my editor exactly what I want. So I can click on the little message icon in my edit bar called insert comment and I can start typing a message that I'd like to leave for them. Once I'm finished typing my comment, I'm going to click the green check button. If I decide I no longer want this comment, I can trash it. If at any point I decide I do not want to keep the changes that I have just added, I can scroll to the bottom and click the cancel button. This will disregard any changes I've made since the last time I saved this draft. That is assembly editor. If there are any problems that occur while you are working in the assembly editor, we recommend you contact your editor.